I hope I can get through this without totally breaking up, but, um, and here we go. It's, it's just like, as soon as I start thinking about Fair Start, all of the appreciation comes up. I'm so grateful for having had the experience to be here. I was in a very broken place when I started here. And when I left here, I felt very whole and complete. It just felt like I had so much lifted off of me and I felt like I found my identity again. Like I'm feeling like I'm myself. You come into this program broken and you leave it with a little bit of courage, a little bit of confidence. And that's something that I haven't had for a long time. My career coordinator, Celeste, she really helped me a lot that barista and um, she helped me see that there was something special in me and that I could do it and I could be somebody. It was life changing. It was, um, it saved my life. I have a brother who graduated from the program who and I seen the amazing things that it's done for him and in his life. So I kind of wanted the same. I wanted the opportunity to change who I am and who I want to be for my daughter. I didn't have much of a relationship with my sister or my parents. Um, lost a lot of friends. Uh, did a lot to try to destroy a relationship with my daughter, but it's all back, so. To be able to hear my daughter's voice every day or to hear my mom, it, you know, it's kind of touching because to not hear their voices for so long, for them not to want to pick up the telephone and for them to now be like, hey, how's your day? How are you doing? You know, we're, we're proud of you. Something that I haven't heard in years, it, it's really heartwarming. I remember my daughter calling me after the relapse saying, Dad, this, is, this hurts. Every time this happens, this hurts. And I heard her loud and clear. And I thought, okay, I, not only do I not want to live this way anymore, I don't want to impact my kids this way anymore. When I walked in there to the court, she goes, I have no intentions of giving you your son. And as soon as I got the paperwork from here, this lady totally changed her attitude and said, okay, we have a shot here. He's really happy that I'm around because I've been gone a lot. So my son is just like, you know, mom. And it's kind of weird because we never really touched very much. And so now he's kind of like, mom, I'm proud of you. You know, you're doing good mom. And, you know, of course I, I would love to cook for him, but it seems like the only thing he ever wants to eat is ramen. It's good to be able to give back to family instead of take from, because, you know, when, when you're out there, you know, that's the only thing you know how to do is it's a full-time job to take from wherever you can get. And uh, now I'm able to give. When I seen that him and the boys had so much belief in me and I couldn't have it for myself, I told them I won't disappoint them or let them down. I want them to see that I'm capable, that I'm strong, and I can be confident no matter what age or no matter what you go through, that you can still, as long as you believe and you have a support system saying you can do it, you can do it. We're not supposed to do it on our own. We're supposed to, we're social creatures. We're supposed to have friends and have family and have people help us. Oh, it's like a community here. I, I love it. I love it. It's not just an organization. It's like a family community. It's really nice to have a support system and people that like unconditionally love you and care about you. It showed me, you know, how to be a, a man, you know, be a responsible adult. I know that my life can be different tomorrow um, and every day it's going to continue to change and improve for the better um, because of the short time I spent here. Maybe it's only one person's life, but you know that one person could change somebody else's life too. It's chain reaction. It provides people that had little or no future with hope and future. It wasn't that long ago that I was here and my life is extraordinary again and um, in, in fact, better than it's been in decades. I've always failed. I always gave up because I, always, I was always gonna be a failure. And I'm not. I am not a failure. I'm writing my own story. And at the end of my story is I'm gonna be out there saying, yes, I did it. And you can do it too. Just don't give up. Hey, you say thank you? Ha, 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 ha.